Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. This is Oris Hang Aaron Limited Edition Watch. Is it really worth it? In 2023, Oris has introduced several unique watches. I particularly love the Oris Kermit. It stands out, it's fun, and most importantly, it's an Oris. But that's not the watch we are here to talk about, are we? Later in the year 2023, Oris launched a new limited edition Big Crown collection in commemorate with Henry Louis Aaron, nicknamed Hammer or Hammering Hank. Hank Aaron was an American professional baseball right fielder and designated hitter who played 23 seasons in the Major League Baseball from 1954 through 1976. Considered one of the greatest baseball players in history, in 1974, Aaron broke Babe Ruth's 33 years home run record. Now about the watch. This is a big crown pointer date. It's measured at 40mm in diameter, 48mm in length and less than 12mm thick. The stainless steel case has a simple sleek looking construct with its polished finished sides and brush finished front on the lugs. There are no holes on the lugs and the lug width is 20mm. The blue leather strap here has a double white baseball glove stitching with 8 adjustable holes on them. The back of the strap is brown with brown stitching. It has two leather holders with a 3-pin buckle with the name Oris engraved on it. The strap has a quick release mechanism for easy change of strap. The closed case bag is engraved with Aaron's silhouette and limited edition number. This watch is limited to 2,297 pieces signifying Aaron's major league baseball record of 2,297 run batted in. The Hang Aaron here is powered by the Oris 754 caliber automatic movement which is a Salita based SW200-1, a reliable workhorse with 26 joules 28,800 bph, an Inca block anti-shock system, hacking seconds function and 38 hours of power reserve. The design cue on this watch is all the same with Oris Big Crown design, with the dome-shaped sapphire crystal with AR coating, traditional tin coil-like bezel, the cathedral hands and the pitchfork pointer date hand. The only thing that is different here compared to the rest of the other Big Crown design is the coloured minute track, unless you're talking about this as well. All of the other Big Crowns have a skeletonized minute track. This however has a solid track thereby disrupting the face giving it an illusion of a smaller dial. The colour scheme on the dial and the strap echoes the uniform worn by Hank Aaron. The dial is off-white with the words Oris, Big Crown, Automatic, Swiss Made and dates all painted in blue around the chapter ring. The mini track is painted in blue with the outer lines painted in red. The indices however are painted in red and the outer lines are painted in blue. This reminds me of the indices on the Rolex Wimbledon which is also designed in the same way, i.e. painted in black with the outer lines painted in green. If you missed my review on the Rolex, I'll put a link in the description below. The dial here is loomed. The engraved screw down crown has a very long pulled out. To adjust the date, you pull the crown to position 1 for quick adjustments. At position 2, this hacks the second hand and changes the date with a quick snap at midnight. Being a limited edition watch, it comes with a limited edition box with Hank Aaron's 44 jersey number vividly printed on the front. It also comes with an additional NATO strap with similar color scheme and, as how Oris puts it, a 2 to exchange the NATO strap. I mean, really? Oris? Was this necessary? Well, I guess it's no harm having more goodies, I guess. The watch comes with a 2 plus 1 year extended warranty when you register with the My Oris membership. I can't really find fault with this watch. For 12,000 ringgit, it's not really a steal, but it is somewhat alright if you were to compare it with some other brands out there. 
It wears pretty well on my 16cm circumference wrist and I really do like the colour scheme on this piece. It's pretty easy to wear. For a work of art paying homage to a spot legend, this iconic piece is probably something worth getting. Or is it? What do you think? Is this watch worth it? Would you get this over the Kermit? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this kind of video, please like, share, comment, subscribe and hit that bell icon to support me and I'll really appreciate it and promise to make more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.